Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who register through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a 3D clay painting. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. In our 9 by 12 manila envelopes here, we have an 8 by 10 black canvas wrapped in plastic. You are also getting a small bottle of tacky glue if you're trying this on your own. Really, um, any Elmer's glue or tacky glue like this um, will work. Our palette this month, since this video is premiering on the 4th of July, um, has a red, white, and blue. Um, I'm also doing a gold, a silver, and then a black. You'll get a small, or I'm sorry, a medium round brush. And then wrapped in foil, you are getting a portion of white Sculpey air dry clay. Um, so really the first step for this project is to get that plastic off of your canvas so that you can start on your design. Since this is air dry clay, your project is going to take a couple of days. So this first step, you are going to lay out your design, roll out your materials, um, leave it to dry. You're going to come back probably about 24 hours later. Here in Central Texas, if you left it out to, in the um, air outside in the sun, it would probably dry a little bit faster, but really your best bet is going to be to wait until you have another day to come back to this project. Uh, you can look for some um, supplies you might have around the house that you could also use um, for this project. If you've got a knife or like I've got a ruler here I could use to cut some clay. Um, if you've got something you can use to roll out your clay, if you want some flattened surfaces, um, you can also use old stamps. So I've got some of the clay here, and if I just roll it out some, I can use stamps right into the clay to kind of emboss a design on there that I'd be able to paint later or add to my project. If you've got old um, or metal cookie cutters that you'd like to use um, to really cut out a shape specifically, um, it can be washed. You can use that. So we've got a little heart shape there. Um, even something as simple as a skewer like this, um, you can use to add designs to something on your clay or to really kind of cut out even just like a little triangle or a leaf shape, something along those lines. For our example, we did do, because this video is going up on the 4th of July, I did something that was along the lines of fireworks. So in the interest of making this video short and sweet and to the point and letting you all get to your being creative, um, I'm going to showcase just a few little things that I did and then we'll take a look at a magically sped forward in the process piece that will be able to um, give you an idea of maybe a finished product. Um, so since I want to do fireworks, um, I really need that long shooting piece. So I'm just rolling out some of my clay into kind of a uh, little bit of a longer strip smoothing it out using my fingers and kind of pulling away from them selves so that I get that nice smooth kind of a little bit more uniform shape. I can also use the edges of my canvas to push my clay down a little bit giving myself a little almost L shape so that once my clay is dry I really know where it uh, fits on there and how I've laid it out. So that I can come right back to it and lay out. And then for the little center, I need something just really very, very small. Roll together, a little sphere, and then I'm just going to take my finger right on the center, press it down so I get that circle piece for that middle burst. And then I can use some more of my clay to add those bursts out as such. 
Um, something like this also looks a little bit like flowers. So you could um, do something where you take a little ball of clay and instead of pressing directly in the center, I'm going to kind of press towards one end so that that top is right around there. And then I have that and I can just kind of squeeze the bottom down to make a little petal. And I could continue that around to make some flowers. You could do mountain scenes, really anything um, that you would find in the clay, you could make as this 3D clay painting. You'll also be able to mix your palette of colors once it comes down to um, adding them. So something like this. Roll out a little bit of the clay. And I just cut across like that. Something like that could be leaves if I wanted to do flowers and I've got my little skewer I could add some lines to the leaves really make that look as if it's a leaf it's a little hard to tell there the white clay on the black canvas but once you've got your design set uh, you may have a little bit of extra clay um, you can always use that for something else um, something like this is really fun for um, air dry. You could make a, let's see, do something. I don't want to flatten it too far. I want it to still be a little thick. Emboss my design for my stamp right on there. While it's doing that, I'm going to kind of smooth the edges. And then using my dowel, get myself a hole right through there. So something like this you could allow to dry and then you'd have a pendant. Something you could paint and then seal with a clear polyacrylic or something along those lines. You've got a lot left because your design on your canvas isn't too big. Um, maybe it's something like a little pinch pot where you just kind of flatten the edges. Give yourself a little bottom, and you have a fun little painted clay vessel. Depend, the really your options are almost completely unlimited when you have these supplies. So, I have magic ta da already glued down uh, because I had an already open bottle of tacky glue. I'm going to be using this slightly bigger one. And really, once your pieces are dry, they're pretty solid. They're not going to bend. Um, just a little bit of glue on them is going to allow you to glue it right down. Smallest little bit of glue on there. And then I can just come in and lay this wherever I might like. Uh, you are going to want to let the glue dry for a little while, at least an hour probably, um, and then you'll be able to come back and paint. So we've got our paints, I've got a brush, um, you probably are going to want a little bit of water to clean your paints in between and a paper towel or napkin or something that you can use to dry that brush off. If you've got spots on your canvas um, where either the glue or the clay have kind of left a mark that you don't want on there. You've got the black paint that you can use to really get rid of those marks. So that's part of the reason we included that color. Um, I have some shiny metallics that I always love to use. Just paint that right onto your clay. And it will be your personal preference for your project, whether you want to paint all the way along the sides of your clay. Just think of that in the 3D and get to the edges around. Mix your colors if you've got another palette. Maybe if you've participated in canvas projects before, you have some other colors that you'd like to use. As always, we'd love to see your final projects and we hope you enjoyed this canvas projects video. And we look forward to a short, to coming back after a short hiatus for the month of August. And we'll see you with a Canvas Project video 
in September of 2022. Thanks for watching.